Hey everybody, how's it going? Mark here at Backcountry Pipe with a special guest appearance by Willow who doesn't want to get out of the chair tonight. Willow's my soon-to-be six-year-old German short-haired pointer who's a great hunter but even greater house pet. Very spoiled. Probably uh, the most spoiled person in this whole house. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Crazy busy. Last week I was down in Boston. Um, got back Friday. Uh, I was down there for work doing an audit at the airport at Logan. Um, then Saturday morning uh, up and drove to New Brunswick for my daughter's uh, dance competition. Um, then back Sunday uh, afternoon back to work uh, for Monday. So it's been busy. <clears throat> um, with that though, I have a package I received in the mail yesterday from Piper Dave. Uh, Dave, can't thank you enough. I got the badge of honor in the mail and uh, tickle pink to receive this. YTPC Team Freedom. Yes, no, that's, that's not for you. Well, it's not for you at all. Um, beautiful handmade badge of honor. I won't even call this a keychain. So Dave, uh, can't thank you enough for that. It really means a lot. Um, uh, yeah, you're, you're, thank you so much for, for just sending that and the trouble you went through to, to post it. And that wasn't all that Dave included in the box. To my surprise, um, very humbled. Thank you, Dave, very much. But I also got a, a tin of uh, HU Sunset. I've never tried any of the HU uh, tobaccos before. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Um, Virginia Blend, great reviews on it. So Dave, thank you very much. Badge, Team Freedom badge, and a tin of pipe tobacco. And especially being from Canada, and the wokeness, and the political craziness, and the dictatorship and everything that goes on in this country, um, to me, that badge of honor of being Team Freedom means um, self, say self-choice, but uh, the ability to make your own decisions, self-thinking and freedom and not being a sheep and just following, you know, this crazy trend that we're on of uh, erasing history and being offended at everything. Just being able to think for yourself and doing what you want to do. And, and just not taking any any real BS from uh, the trendiness of this world, which the more and more as it goes, um, more it just makes me want to, to live in the backwoods somewhere. But having a family and finding that balance is is a it's a challenge, um, a challenge that I just can't disappear to the cabin in the backwoods. But uh, anyway, Willow doesn't have that problems. She's uh, She's a GSP and she's stubborn and uh, she's definitely not following any sheep, are you? Huh? Anyway, with that, um, so Dave, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means something. Thank you so much. Got a bowl here already. Hardcastle, Camden, 101. Had first bowl in it last night. Didn't know what I was going to have in this and. Uh, so it's kind of holding off of what the, the inaugural smoke is going to be. Um, like I said, I was down in Boston last week for work and uh, I managed to uh, get in there Monday around noon, a little after lunch. Um, got a uh, Uber downtown and uh, went to, right to LJ Peretti's, which was, uh, was almost a little dream come true, to be honest with you. Um, I got to meet Steve, talk to Steve for a little bit. Um, also, the other gentleman that works there, Pipe Carver, forget his name. Oh, escapes me right now, but it was there. It was overwhelming, really, to see all the pipe tobaccos. And then, you know, being from Canada and the, and the, the selection and cost here, you know, do you get pipe tobacco? Do you get cigars? What do you get? Um, so, yeah, it was just, it, it was cool. It was overwhelming. So I did end up getting a box of Padron Maduro 2000s, which is like a 5 by 50 um, and I'll split that with a good friend of mine here just because, uh, you know, our, our access to cigars are, are limited. 
So I have that in the Coolador right now um, until we meet up and I can give him his half. Um, as well as another couple singles of like a Henry Clay and a, one of the LJ Peretti cigars. They're out of the Maduros, unfortunately. Um, but I did get a Honduran, I believe. Just a, a no-name, uh, no, no label on it or anything. But uh, it was an LJ Peretti blend. So in this, I have some LJ pipe tobacco. What did I get at Peretti's? Well, it was a hard decision, like I say. So uh, I probably went a little over what I was allowed to bring back. But the first thing I got... Um, just because I, I didn't see it for sale anywhere, um, was one and a half, one point seven five ounces of St. Bruno. Um, it's no Condor, but it's a second second place for sure. So I'm not sure when I'll open that, but I got a nice pack of St. Bruno. Um, I smell so many different blends down there. Um, I got a sample of B94, which is a Burley blend, um, Burley blend, and I think it might have a little bit of like a rum. I don't know I say topping, but blended with the rum, I believe. Anyway, it smells great, not overpowering. Um, and I have what's in my pipe right now, which uh, I wanted to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I wanted to try a Cavendish blend because it's been quite some time. So I have some uh, Pretty uh, 432, one ounce of that. And second bowl, outstanding. Um, they say it's a, a bit of a coconut type blend, but uh, first bowl, the flavors I get are a little like a hint of uh, the vanilla, caramel, um, and maybe that coconut, but it's also slight because you can still taste the tobacco, um, which is uh, just fantastic. It, it's such a well-rounded blend. Um, and something that's not really been in my wheelhouse lately, but with the summer months coming on and the warmer temperatures, it's uh, it's it's a treat. Smokes perfect in this. Had a bowl last night, right down to the ash, and this Camden Hardcastle 101 is just fantastic. So I have it loaded up there now, and once this video is over, I'm going to uh, gonna light this up. Um, so yeah, that was it. Boston last week, uh, audit, 16 hour days, 14 hour days, got it done. Back Friday, like I say, then uh, Saturday morning, bright and early, drove to New Brunswick, which is the next province over for my daughter's uh, dance competition. That was till Sunday. Back Sunday, Sunday night, I got to take my young fella out to the uh, local archery club. They had a kind of an open to the public kind of thing from six to eight. So we get to shoot some uh, traditional recurve bows. That was fantastic. And then Monday morning back into work. And uh, so last night was the first bowl of pipe tobacco I probably had in, uh, oh, I'd say week, week and a half or more. Um, so looking forward to uh, shutting the camera off and enjoying this bowl. Um, and also, uh, you know, thinking about cigars. Um, cigar season is going to be here before you know it. Well, it is here once I get the, the chance. But rain all week here. Got a nice... Uh, Four day weekend coming up. I'm off Friday and Monday, so uh, even though it's going to be a little wet, hopefully get a, a bowl or two in and uh, maybe uh, a cigar or two. Who knows? Um, so yeah, so that's going to be, uh, I guess the uh, the Hardcastle Camden 101 is going to be an aromatic type of pipe. Um, I also got uh, a tin of uh, Gawith and Hogarth Spirit of Scotland, so that might be a summer blend. I'm not sure. Um, and then when we get into fall, you know, we get some, some treats there. Um, I still have some Condor, which uh, I'm kind of saving. I don't know why I'm saving it, but uh, I know when I crack that, uh, crack one of those pouches open, it's it's not going to last. So lots going on, a lot to say. Hope everyone's doing good out there. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, Dave, thank you so much for the wonderful gift. Um, I don't, uh, I don't take it lightly. It means a lot. Um, so with that, I'm going to shut the camera off. Enjoy this bowl, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.